What's going on there folks? Uh, Earthmaster here jumping in with an update video on this Monday evening, January 11th, 2021, 9.13 p.m. West Coast time here. Where there's still continued aftershock activity up there around the Mango uh, Mongolia. I was going to say Magnolia. Um, uh, yeah, let me see here. Let's zoom in here to this area. Well, actually, over here is where we're starting to see uh, a lot of aftershock activity, but some uptick in more activity following that large one that six pointer there that uh, struck just a couple hours ago in the mongolia region i'm gonna bring you over here to this other map and show you guys a little bit better uh, view of what's going on there is that cluster of quakes there in the uh, mongolia region up here about uh, oh we're looking at about nine earthquakes or so Following the 6.7, originally a 6.8, they downgraded that a little bit to 6.7. Most of these aftershocks still within the 10 kilometer range below the surface there. So far the largest aftershock in that sequence there, about a 5.2. Quite a few fives and fours, and I'm sure many, many more uh, taking place here that the USGS is not uh, just not showing just because of that uh, threshold, 4.0 threshold uh, internationally. Uh, the renewed or this newer activity is kind of over here around the Afghanistan region. Seem, seems as though we're starting to see a little bit of an increase in activity over here. That red circle, 4.4. Check out the depth of this earthquake. Man, we're just seeing off the chart deep earthquakes over the past few days. Uh, 208 kilometers down below the Afghanistan region there. Uh, looks like... Uh, uh, reviewed it has been reviewed so that is the correct uh, depth right there 208 kilometers it's pretty deep folks um, and further down south here uh, some surface quaking going on but uh, man talk about some deep movement there's stuff definitely something uh, brewing you know underneath the uh, underneath this section of the world here uh, western pacific and also uh, over here into like I said into into uh well into afghanistan and whatnot these were pretty shallow quakes up here in mongolia but uh, we had been seeing some pretty deep earthquake activity around the taiwan area as well and also this little one up here 5.9 almost to six it almost made it uh 211 kilometers there so a lot of large-scale movement uh is what's going on here how it will affect the uh the rest of the globe remains to be seen. Um, we did have a little 3.5 off the coast here in Northern California uh, shortly after the uh, Japan quake, that 5.9. This one ruptured roughly about the same time as that 5.9. Let me check the timestamps here. Uh, 0325 and then uh, this one over here, 0239. So about an hour, almost an hour difference there. Uh, following that 5.9 there in Japan, a little bit of adjustment over here. Kind of deep as well, um, 19 kilometers down. Not a, you know, it's not a super deep quake, but uh, a little bit deeper than, uh, than I'm kind of used to here in this region. Normally we'll see about 10 kilometers or so. But, uh, you know, the subducting area, you do get some deeper quakes inland. Um, let's see here, what else we got? Not a whole lot going on in the 2.5 and above department. Uh, micro quakes are, uh, well, they're definitely there. <laughs> they're still kicking up a little bit, folks. Uh, right around the uh, Pyramid Lake into the Sierra Nevada range. A little cluster of uh, circular quakes here. You can see that uh, area on the map. Just some micro quakes popping off there. Down south as well. Looks like the swarming has completely ended around the Salton Sea region. Some microquakes taking place on the San Jacinto Fault area up around Riverside, stretching into uh, Cucamonga region, Rancho Cucamonga. Uh, not a whole lot of movement on the infamous San Andreas Fault. Little, little looks like maybe a little, little one, just a little tiny movement there, uh, right off the uh, major plate boundary there. Other than that, um, not a whole lot going on. Puerto Rico area still seeing some swarming. Three, a couple threes there, lots of twos kicking off there in that same area southwest of the, uh, just right around the southwest region here. Um, you know, it's just one of those things. 
it's uh, it's uh, definitely continuing. Whatever is going on here, and there's a bunch of variable depths right here. Roughly, yeah, it looks like some surface ones all the way down to about 16 kilometers or so uh, for this movement. Nothing really to report along the Puerto Rico trench area. Uh, in the Chile, Argentina region, I'm not seeing any type of aftershock activity following that uh, earthquake there a couple days ago around the Argentina region up here in the northern part. Pretty quiet. All the movement right now is kind of seems to be pushing in waves. You know, if, if you can imagine a uh, a wave of pressure, if you will, kind of working its way to the west over there, and uh, eventually will probably potentially find itself brewing up around the Greece region you know it's uh, I should I should put these things in the motion here right these quakes as they pop up and you can kind of see this invisible wave of energy that kind of works its way it almost always seems like it works its way from uh, from the east over here to the west kind of just a little odd yeah and then again you know it's not like that all the time it just seems seems to happen on occasion I guess just have to see what uh, what has in what what this planet has in store for uh, uh, future quakes here if that wave pattern kind of holds true uh, trimmer map was kicking off pretty good here let's go ahead and refresh this here there we go 349 epicenters of trimmer right around the uh, southern Oregon and also parts of northern California in the Sacramento Valley northern end of it along the Cascadia subduction zone so some movement kicking off uh, there in the uh, well that's 2000 let's go back let's go back here I was looking at yesterday's I was like you know what I could have swore this looks very similar to yesterday here is today's right 111 I was looking at that earlier and I forgot to uh, change the date back to the uh, current date here's today's current date and trimmer stretching into northern california southern oregon seems to uh have died off a little bit but 89 epicenters working their way uh, around the cascadia subduction zone there in the slow slip event department so less trimmer than yesterday but kind of working its way further south there if you will kind of around uh well that 3.5 that struck here near eureka is uh just right over here in this region away from the trimmer but you got to remember if we're looking at um, subduction here right trimmer that's kind of like a slow earthquake if you will it's not a jolt but uh, a very slow motion of movement uh, the Juan de Fuca plate further subducting uh, in this region underneath the North American plate ultimately can and does create pressure along the locked section of the Cascadia subduction zone over here and also we could see some surface quakes anywhere uh, in this region um, with the subducting that's going on there uh, what else we got not a whole lot going on there's a little surprise in the uh, um, the Aurora department right there was no uh, coronal holes or anything no major solar flares just a little opening in the earth's uh, let's go ahead and see if I can find that there let's see, read the article uh, this is from spaceweather.com and interplanetary shockwave sparks auroras surprising forecasters in the interplanetary shockwave uh, let's see hit the earth I do, do, do. Uh, did not trigger a geomagnetic storm however strong magnetic fields downstream of the shock front open a crack in the earth's magnetosphere so a little bit of a uh, northern lights kicking up just due to that uh, interplanetary shock what's that from though uh, let's see man what's real and what's not folks that's a question of the of the night is this real uh, I think so about as real as it's gonna get right as far as uh, life in general all right folks I gotta get off here um, have a good night uh, we will chat you guys sometime tomorrow unless we got a major quake out here and yours starts to uh, turn backwards like on the globe there. I always got to remember to keep it this way. It's a couple of years ago I had the earth uh, had the earth actually spinning this way, right? 
and uh, that's how I, I, I just kept it on the stream. I didn't even think about the uh, the sun, the moon, you know, and, and all that, the rotation. And uh, someone dropped the link to my live stream in a uh, Polish uh, channel, a Polish website, a uh, very popular one. I guess they were having some fires or something over there. And uh, literally, the folks got on my channel and thought the world was ending because because the globe was spinning this way. And I don't know who dropped the link there in that, but uh, they were kind of doing that just to be a, a, a jerk, I believe, you know, and taking advantage of people that were actually uh, having some serious issues going around them, you know, taking advantage of that fear. Uh, and it kind of sucked. They were wondering what the heck was going on with the world. So, but anyway, I got to remember to keep it right in the correct rotation. All right, guys, <laughs> we're out of here. A little food for thought tonight. Have a good night, everyone. We'll catch you guys a little bit later. Stay safe.